So year three reports and uh, Ralph Peake, Douglas North is uh, with us. And uh, I think I um, started last year by saying you were the quiet man of Timwald. That's changed over the year, hasn't it? You've certainly found a voice. Climate change being it particularly, I, I think, is, you know, the, the actions across the Timwald chamber between you and Mr Boot have been quite interesting. It's, it's an important issue, it really is. And uh, I'm, I'm delighted that the council ministers and uh, Timwald decided to uh, get on board with that now and, and fully support it. The, well, they uh, weren't. Well, yes, but you know, it, it, you just keep keep going, keep going. That's was it you idea. that made them change their mind? Well, it was it was one of the, um, one of the people. Yes, but you've got to keep going, haven't you? When something's so important, you do can't just let it go. You've got to actually keep going. And I'm delighted that people now are really on board and and really are working very hard for it. The officers are doing a great job. The team's been in place now for a few weeks, and they really are working together as a team. Absolutely fantastic. I know the big thing you had an electric car last year. I think that, that just shows you where we've come so yeah, quickly. Yeah, that's isn't true. It? That's true. There's actually three cars um, <laughs> in, in, in the political arena now. So I think Mr. Boots bought one. He absolutely, told me. and Mr. Hooper as well. So absolutely delighted. Right. Okay. Besides that, or, or more on that, really, what's been your highlights from last year first let's do that i think really uh in, in treasury it's a fantastic opportunity and big responsibility but it, the social security element i think that's really good we're bringing in quite a lot of reform in social security and, and reaching out and trying to you know help people improve the position they're in enable them to contribute to society that's what i've been really wanting to do since i've uh, come in yeah, ex explain that though what putting more people back to work or yeah well it's trying to help safety net still it, there it's trying to yeah, absolutely the safety net's there and we've got one of the most generous uh, benefit systems uh, around and certainly much much uh, more generous than the uk but no it's about really listening to people it's it's trying to understand people listen to people and how we can help them that's what it rather than pigeonhole people and give them a label it's about listening to individuals and doing what we can to help them. And that's why I'm really keen to see those uh, changes to the EPA, the Employed Persons Allowance System, which really now will come into the second phase of this, this help, will actually really help people put training at the forefront. So when they're moving forward, they can then have some training added to it. And that's a really big, uh, big, big change. Okay, well you've been Treasury since the beginning, haven't you? And you've seen the tax receipts going up, suddenly there's more money in the pot. Are we in the good times now, or you know, how's it how's it looking from inside? And you probably can't say too much, but you know, you have to be part of that process. It decides yeah. where the money's going to be spent. I, I think it's it's good now that people are more confident. There's a lot more confident around. We we are seeing receipts rise. That that's been shown over the last couple of years, and and uh, it, that's really good to see that. I think people now have got more confidence in that, and they wanted to contribute more. So it's that's really good news there. But the amount of people working for government is going up again, isn't it? Aren't you worried about that, or are you happy that it is going up because you've got the money to pay for it? Well, w we are in a difficult situation at the moment with Brexit, but no, I certainly am, am signed up to the smaller, smarter government approach, and I do think you know moving forward into the future that needs to be addressed because but it hasn't, has it? well with the advent of more efficiency around IT structures coming in place with uh, new careers mm -hmm. we need to address that and we need to help the private sector absolutely because the private sector really are crying out for more workers uh, we have got the locate um, policy we are trying to attract people to the island but we haven't really sort of mastered that yet we've started that we haven't mastered it must say there's a massive disaster wasn't there you're spending uh, uh, Department of Enterprise had a scheme for a massive amount of money to be spent on a new scheme and it didn't really work out at all. Did you, as Treasury, come in on that or did you just let them well, realise it wasn't working? Do you, uh, yeah, what goes on behind the scenes? Otherwise? Okay, well, the, the budget there is where you agree that at the start of the year um, and the departments then have that allocation off the budget and then it's the department's responsibility to deliver, to come up with these uh, um, policies and then actually deliver them. So the money is then made available from the by the Treasury. So the Treasury has to have that overview and to make sure that the books balance and that money is available for the policies for the departments. So um, that locate strategy is a uh, Department for Enterprise policy and um, it is moving forward. I mentioned save last year and it's it almost like going, goodness me, we're still sitting there with nothing really, no big headlines ever came out of it. And that was a Treasury initiative, wasn't it? It was. I'm not saying blaming you directly here, but mm. you know, everyone was very keen on cutting backs on, on, and saving money where it could be saved. Oh, you must be disappointed that it all seems to have just gone off into the long grass now. I think it? people were um, very pleased with the response we got from the public. And Massive response. Over, yes, you're right. Oh, I think it was 1,300 responses. What happened? Um, well, they've been sifted down and, and, and kicked around. <laughs> last year it had gone off to the Council of Ministers, I think, is in your last interview. Mm -hmm. And obviously mm -hmm. that's not the case still now. It's all back to you, isn't it? Uh, no, it, it's, it's still with the Council of Ministers. Still? Well, it, the, 
some of the actions are being moved forward. So there is um, a number of those actions moving forward, but you're right, out of 1,300, they're down to about sort of half a dozen. So that just shows you the complexity of the structure of government, really, and how this system, where you've got individual ministers and individual departments, um, how they have a particular say of that area. So you know, you could say that if it was all um, all focused around a single entity, mm. then you could then perhaps get those decisions made differently. How are you enjoying it in Treasury? Because it is seen as the biggest job. I mean, you, you know, we'll come to you being a minister and all that again in a minute later, but what about being in the Treasury? Still happy there? Absolutely. I mean, um, great leadership from the Treasury Minister. Um, very happy to, to challenge it in the boardroom setting. And it's important. You challenge our camp? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's the whole idea of having that board setting. Is where that's where you make your challenges. Um, but the great thing then is once we've actually made those challenges, we're then satisfied with that and we can then support. That's what it's all about. It's, it's making those challenges in the boardroom setting mm -hmm. and then actually supporting the actually outcome. How do you take it to you and Mr. Shimmons running off to Corbridge with me and doing those sort of interviews? Does he feel that that's you know pushing it too much a bit? You know? Well, they, they were our individual um, um, ideas, mm -hmm. and I think they were very important. I think that was a, a, a great visual uh, message. Um, so, and I think that had a contribution and effect to where we are now. And I'm, I'm, as I say, really glad that people now realise that, and it's not going to go away. This this climate change issue, and it's really important that we embrace it and do all we can.